Much like the women's team, Western Michigan's men's basketball team begins its pursuit of a championship with a celebration as the Broncos knocked off their rival on the final day of the season to secure the first regular season MAC title since 2004. much more subdued bunch re-energizes itself at the team breakfast. The journey to Cleveland is already one of obstacles and roadblocks as treacherous travel conditions turn WMU's four-hour trip into a 12-hour saga. Honestly, I think we should just prepare the way we always do every uh, every other game. Um, it, like I said, it's a right now it's a two game two game season. It's a game. You know, we don't. I'm really not trying to focus on. You know, it's the tournament we have to win. I'm going there to looking to have fun. And uh, you know, you always want to compete and you want to win. But I go in there thinking, you know, just play the game of basketball. Just have fun. Just do you and don't think about anything else. The downtime is minimal for the top seed in this year's MAC tournament as the Broncos take the court for their one and only full practice before their semifinal game against either Ohio or Akron. WMU's big men are prepared by the most decorated big man in college basketball history, Larry Farmer. Tournament time is really special because it's that time of year, it's that third part of the season to where all of the marbles are on the line. You work for the first two thirds of the season to arrive at this point where it's all in preparation leading up to, you know, getting that invitation to the NCAA tournament or any postseason tournament. A lot of the goofy players on this team, uh, one through 16. Uh, Everybody has their, their moments of being funny and everybody has their moments of being serious, but most of the time it's just, it's funny. Even the coaches are just coming out here cracking jokes and, you know, it's just a great, great feeling knowing that you can joke around with your teammates and your coaches. Shout 
and get out my way. You're sleepy. And this is Shane Winton, one of the best big mans in the league. I'm not excited. Wait, wait, they told me. Oh, a new camera. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Yeah, boy. Tower City, that's where we're back. When we walked through the hit of the day, you did not see it. We're at the Hard Rock Cafe. Our athletic director, Kathy Beauregard. Awesome, what you order? Twisted Mac. Ooh, good. What about you, Charles? Steak. Steak. Me and my good buddy Tucker. Gonna have some salad. Yum, yum. Kev. And the Broncos had the team meal. Not only is the team bonding together, but a few special guests have made the long journey as well. Coach Hawkins' father and siblings, who have been in the same room just twice in the last 20 years, are in Cleveland to be a part of a championship run. With full stomachs, it's now time for the team to fill their collective minds by watching the game between Ohio and Akron to determine which team will meet the Broncos in the semifinals. Western Michigan is 3-0 against these teams this season, but this is Cleveland. This is different. The Broncos take to the floor at Quicken Loans Arena for the game day shoot around. It's time to put in the last notes of preparation for the night's game. The last jumper, the team break. Good luck, man. Got me on three. One, two, three. Hey. You know, this is uh, a team that gets along well uh, and, and incredibly unselfish. It's nothing better than, you know, coming out on the court, playing the game that you love with the, the people you love. Uh, the coaches have been great, and it's just been a very relaxed season, and it's been stress-free. Game time has finally arrived. All of the preparation comes down to this. In order to play for a title, Western Michigan will need to get to the title game facing its tournament nemesis, Akron. That's the, way we, that's the way we play, that's the way we go at it. We don't go backwards on anybody or any situation in front of us. Shane gets suspended two games, what happens first game of the season? We attacked, okay? Uh, uh, Tucker goes down with an injury, what happens? We attacked. Okay, DB has a bad shooting that what happens? Somebody else picks him up. We attacked. Okay, Summit, Connor gets into foul trouble. What happens? We attacked. Your response has always been attack. Okay, you got the opportunity in front of us. We're full speed. Your response one more time again for 80 minutes is going to be to attack. You guys got it? Yes, sir. Take a minute. All right, fellas, let's go take over this court now. Our place, our house. Here we go. Here we go. Let's 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 go.
WMU fought its way back to force overtime, and with a game tied at 52 and just a half a minute remaining, David Brown provided the shot Bronco fans will remember for years to come from 17 down at halftime and defeated the Akron Zeps in Akron's backyard. The Broncos 64, Akron 60. The Broncos will play for a MAC tournament championship tomorrow night against the winner of game two tonight between Toledo and Eastern Michigan. What a second half by Western Michigan, an incredible comeback when everybody in this building, or most everybody, had written them off. Western Michigan returns to the hotel. The Broncos are not headed back to Kalamazoo just yet. They will spend a little more time enjoying this epic victory. Some will enjoy it a little longer than others. Steve Hawkins turns the page almost immediately, heading alone to his hotel room for a night of film study and breaking down Toledo. It's time once again to go to work. 